I really wish you could see this. Uh, the cyanamid uh, chemical light solution is rather weak, but I actually have it suspended in a uh, ferrofluid at the bottom of which is a two inch by one inch by one inch two by two by one inch new demi iron boron um but you actually can't see even if i were to zoom in because the light level is rather weak i didn't actually use some high intensity cyanamid uh, for this experiment but there's a fascinating fractal pattern and uh, what's amazing is how the light distributes itself that you can't see is right here along the inertial plane you see how it is very smooth and glassy along the edge of the magnet you can't see this but my god I wish you could um, I'll have to get some high intensity cyanamid sticks and show it to you but there's a beautiful fractal pro um, pattern that actually shows up and the light is confined to the centrifugal edge and is completely black along the inertial plane and right here with the ferrofluid along the center what happens is without the magnet there you actually can't see any light at all and once you place uh, the uh, divergent centripetal centrifugal edge of one of the poles along the edge of the magnet the things immediately brighten in other words it goes completely black to illuminated black to illuminated that's rather fascinating you can't see it but i can it's just that this lens is a bit weak i apologize for that but i'll get some high intensity cyanamid i've got tons of ferrofluid so you'll be able to see this but what's really neat is you have to take my word on it until I actually get it. Is without the magnetic field present, with the lights off, this is completely black. I mean, you can't see anything. But once you place it here and you concentrate it, the light immediately turns on like you're flicking the switch on a light bulb. And that actually is really, really neat. And that has some neat applications. You're talking about a magnetically formed light switch. Essentially, obviously it's chemical light and that's limited as far as its duration of illumination. Basically, it's just like a chemical version of a lightning bug's butt, or as the Europeans call them, fireflies. But uh, it goes from completely black to illuminated, black to illuminated, just like turning on a light switch. And you can actually see a fractal program, pro I keep saying program, a fractal pattern. Um, you can almost see it here, but not with the illumination. The distribution is completely fractal. And... Uh, this is also incredibly neat. A smooth glassy surface, the light is confined to either centrifugal edge, but along the inertial plane there is no light. Um, very neat. You just have to trust me on that one until I can actually get the bright stuff. There's uh, ultra high intensity cyanamid chemical light like this. So I've got some on the way and then I'll uh, show it to you. So sorry I couldn't demo that to you, it's just that the light is just too weak. Uh, I can see it perfectly with my eyeballs with the camera. It's not enough to capture it. Thanks for watching. I promise to bring you an update to this very soon.